one that flowers in Tennessee in the month of June. And this is oak leaf hydrangea. It gets its name, as if you can notice here on the leaf, it's really in the shape of our southern red oak. And so oak leaf hydrangea. But as you see, it covers itself with these beautiful uh, conical or cone-shaped blooms. And uh, there's many, many different cultivars and selections. This happens to be um, one called Sykes Dwarf. And it's uh, probably maximum height that it's going to get to be, which is in that four to five foot range. But um, if you're interested in wanting to control the height on this and maybe knock this plant back a bit, maybe it's got a little bit bigger than where you'd like to have it, let me tell you on how you can prune an oak leaf hydrangea. And, and what's interesting here is that all the hydrangeas out there all require a bit different pruning um, on how they produce their flowers. So for the oak leaf, um, it flowers on old wood. So what you want to do when it's totally done blooming and you've enjoyed this, uh, within two months after it's done blooming, you want to go ahead and cut this plant back as far as you'd like to. So this plant right now is in that four to five foot range. Let's say I want to take it back to the two to three foot range. I can really come down inside here and just up anywhere above a leaf node, a petiole, um, you can cut this plant way back. Now it's gonna look pretty uh, uh, drastic in cutting it back so hard, but by doing this, the end of June going into uh, July, it's got the remainder of the summer and fall to finish growing back out, and it'll be at a much more reduced height. And then uh, by pruning early after it's done blooming in the summer months, you'll find that next year in the month of June, your oak leaf hydrangea will just cover itself with blooms again, as you see here. Um, let me point out that this bloom, we call the, there, there's, you can see all the multitude of single flowers. And it's interesting that um, all your hydrangea start out white, then they kind of go to a creamy white. And even as you see here, they're starting to kind of get a cast of a, a pale sage green, I like to call it. Um, there's many different selections of oak leaf hydrangeas out there, and uh, one of my favorites is, is new on the market, just came out in 2012, called Ruby Slippers. It starts out white, creamy white, and then as it fades, it becomes more and more pink. Um, another interesting selection is one called Vaughn's Lily that is actual a double flowering uh, oak leaf. And instead of these individual single flowers, as you see here, it just covers itself with uh, flowers that have multiple petals, and we refer to that as double flowers. So it's, it's a rather unique selection, produces a really large, heavy bloom, but rather unique um, compared to many of the oak leaf hydrangeas that are on the market.